All right, welcome. <clears throat> Step one is you log into Onshape. Um, but today we're just going to create a simple box. It's two by two by two with holes through all three sides. All right, to do this, I'm going to click on Create, Document. We'll just label it Box for now. Um, if you're familiar with Inventor, We've got our X, Y, and Z planes. We've got a little view box in the top right corner. Uh, we also have our history panel here on the left-hand side. To start, I'm gonna click on Sketch. And you can go ahead and click on one of these three planes. I generally click on your front view. You notice it has now started to sketch here, but I still have these three planes. To turn those off, I can click this little eyeball over those views. And now those boxes have gone away. Because I'm working on my front view, I'm gonna click on front, and I can begin drawing. Similar to Inventor, I have a, a zero, zero location located right here. Um, but today we're just gonna use a simple line command. I'm gonna start by clicking on that center dot. As I move up, I'm gonna get a line, right? I'm not holding the mouse button down right now. As I move to the left and right, it should snap every 90 degrees, again, similar to Inventor. So I'm going to move up. As soon as I click, this dialog box pops up, and I can type in the number that I need it to be. In this case, it's 2, and I hit Enter. And I move to the right, and hit 2, and hit Enter. 2, 2, and hit Enter. 2, 2, and hit Enter. Come back to my start point. At that point, I have a fully enclosed object. Similar to Inventor again, I click this Finish Sketch. And right now, I'm still looking at my front view. To change that, I can right click and go to Isometric. I can use my Extrude tool here. Click on the shape that I want to extrude. You'll see it says depth, one inch. In this case, we want to switch that to say two, and hit enter. Hit that finish sketch, that green check, and there's my object. I've got a wheel on the center of the mouse. That wheel will zoom us in, zoom us out. My right click, if I click and hold on it, will allow me to rotate my object. Again, if I right click in the blank area, I can isometric and it resets everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a hole through the top to the bottom, left to right, and right to left. I'm going to start a new sketch in my top view. Right? right now I'm looking at it from my isometric view, so I'm going to go ahead and click on top in my view box here. Roll out a little bit. I'm going to use my circle command semi near the center. Right, you'll notice I have that number again following me, showing me the size of the circle itself. As soon as I click, that box shows up, and I can type in 1 and hit enter. Now I've got a 1 inch circle. In order to center it though, I need to go up towards the top where it says dimension. I'm going to go from my top to the center, anywhere to the left or the right, doesn't matter. Again, as soon as I click, it allows me to change that number. In this case, it's going to be 1 and hit Enter. And I'm going to go from my left to my center and do the same thing. As soon as I click, I've got 1 and hit Enter. And now I've got a 1 in circle located directly in the center of my box. Hit that Finish Sketch. Right click, Isometric View. All right, so I've got a 1 in circle located right on top. I click Extrude, click on the circle that I want to extrude. Notice it says Add, Remove, or Intersect. I'm going to click on Remove and switch on a depth of 2 inches. Hit my green check, and I should now have a circle that goes right through the middle. Again, to rotate this around, I'm going to hold on the right click in your mouse. 
Let me reset it. Right click isometric. And I'm going to do it again. Add a new sketch to my left hand face. Switch it. Add a circle. Semi near the middle. Click. Type in one. Hit enter. Use the dimension tool. Dimension from my top to my center. One inch. My left to my center. Again, one inch. Hit that green check. Right click, isometric, so I'm in my isometric view. We've got an extrude. There's my shape, I click on it. Again, switch it to remove and two inches. One more time, again, right click, isometric. New sketch, right hand side. Circle, near the middle. As soon as I click, that dialog box allows me to change it. So I want one inch. Now I'm gonna use that dimension tool. My top to my center, one inch. And my left to my center, one inch as well. Now again, it's right in the middle. Finish sketch, this big green check. Right click, switch to my isometric view so I can see what's happening. It's nice to be in the isometric view when you're trying to extrude an object. I'm gonna click on extrude, click that circle, remove, at a depth of two inches. Now there are a lot of other commands up here, but this is all I'm looking at um, you to understand for now.